Greetings, humans, it's your host Atreus, and this is Us to Lord, episode 11. Today we're doing something different, we just bought the Video Doom Arcade in La Mesa. We bought it in La Mesa as it is really close to the casino. And that's, after all, what we're doing. We don't really care about the money that's coming and in the arcade. And right here is where we will put the planning boards. Everything we need to design the most complex robbery this city has ever seen. <laughs> Hello! Oh, oh! Oh, look! <laughs> Hi! So this is the Nerve Center. <laughs> I must say, I'm very excited to have you both on board. Be excited once we've cleared out the casino vault. Or when Thornton Duggan throws himself off the roof. <laughs> I like you. Do you now? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's, uh, you know, some work to be done, but everything looks on track. If you want, I can run you through some of my ideas. And I can run you through some of mine. Uh... Sure. Come back to my hotel. The rich men. We'll get some food and discuss it all. Yeah, um, sure thing. I'll, uh, it's, it's, it's a date. <laughs> a, an appointment. You're so funny. Good work. This place will be perfect. Let's go. Okay, I'll, uh, come back once you've got everything set up. Call me, okay? So as Uncle Lester might have made you realize, this has nothing to do with the arcade. But it does, however, have something to do with what we can do from the business itself. These dumbass pieces of shit! I mean, I swear to God, they're not even connected to a network, and they're busted! I mean, come on! Are they plugged in? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. What was I supposed to know about that? Lester, you got a visitor! Coming! Oh. You mean the owner is here, Wendy? Yeah. So, we're, uh, getting there, aren't we? Once we get the rest of the cabinets set up. You know, I have kill-screened a shit ton of these babies. And by the time I'm done, I will do them all. Just wait till you see what we've done downstairs. We have been very busy. Hi! <laughs> Huh? And Huang? Yes, great. The place looks great. Good work. So? I'm terribly sorry, but we have to move along. John Pensy just ordered rosé. What? Uh, eh? Yes. We were brainstorming some ideas the other night and came up with a, a whole new approach. When Georgina said that security is a level above anything I've encountered before, she was right. So, there's going to be three parts to our heist. <laughs> Scoping, prepping, and... The score, except this time they're all going to be much more um, interrelated. You see, what you scope sets up what you can prep, which then sets up how you do the score. Depending on how hard you look, you might find one exit route, or you might find a few, which then gives you different options. Ideally, if you scope it right, there will be three main ways to do the job. Number one, aggressive. Number two, silent. And sneaky, number three, the big con, you know, like subterfuge, and with variation on how we can pull off all of these. Like, uh, like this. Are you with me? Now tell them what we talked about, about the job. Ah, yes. Yes, I was, uh, just getting to that. <laughs> Um, you see, with security like this, we'll need to be more adaptive. If our approach isn't working, we got to be ready to switch it up on the fly. Before, if you were caught being sneaky, we just called the whole thing off. But now, you're going to transition to the more aggressive approach, and you keep on pushing. It's amazing. If only we could keep on doing it. Rub it every week. I want this casino to be the anvil around Thornton Duggan's neck. Yes, but let's start by just doing it once. I got a text. The rosé is getting warm. Georgina, please. Oh, Huang. If you need me for anything, please don't hesitate to call. We'll stay in town until it's done. It's in good hands. I mean it. Anything, call me. Roger that. <laughs> Roger that. Idiot. <sighs> okay, well, take a look at the board. And when you're ready, you know what to do. <laughs> Okay, so now we have everything set up, and we can begin the heist. Pay a little visit to the casino. But first, 
Let's celebrate with a little show. Cheers. Turns out that shot <clears throat> was a lot stronger than expected. Shortcut. That shot was celebration enough, so we went back inside and completed the rest of the setup. Then we meet it up with our crew, in one of the setups I actually managed to land perfectly a jet in a highway, very close to the arcade, I mean that was until my crew started messing with me. Yeah. No. Ah. Yes! I lost the, um, the engine, but I did land it. Oh, I didn't know- wait. Uh, yeah, that was you. <laughs> As you can see, when making a heist, teamwork is very important and we strive to have the best crew available. After messing around for a few hours to bump our crew morale to a maximum, we finally got ready to do the heist. And after listening a lot to Uncle Lester speak when we want to just start up the heist, we went ahead and do it. It was, it was a perfect heist, really. We got in, grabbed the cash, got out, free step heist, nothing to worry about. As you'll be able to see, it went down smoothly. Look at that 100% perfect synchronization at swiping the key cards at exactly the same second without even speaking with each other or practicing. It was the first time. I also want to leave a special thanks to the security guards that is opening the vault door right now. His job is crucial for this heist as he gets punched in the face hundreds of times every single day and he doesn't even question a second time when it's time to opening the vault door to anyone that walks in. Thank you very much man, you're a legend. When grabbing the cash from the table it is crucial to have a great eye to hand coordination and quite a good speed. I'd recommend doing some boxing to train that speed in cashing up. So just go into the beach and punch random citizens and you'll be able to clear out the vault in no time. Jokes aside, this upcoming clip is going to be a perfect example on why communication is so important when running anything that needs coordination between two people or more. Can you can you open the door in uh, two seconds, please? As you can see, being well coordinated and talking about things will make things a lot more enjoyable and a lot more fast. So you know, if you're in bed with someone right now. Just tell them. Papa Altraz gave you the tip. And I had an instant regret in calling myself Papa Altraz right now. So please let's not mention it again. After we got out the casino we proceeded to get the perfect getaway cars. And we realized they weren't as perfect as we thought. I mean, they're very good but also very flashy. So we decided to take the chopper instead. That was a really smooth run, but it's still not over. Now we need to run smoothly. So we did parkour all over this building, jumping up the walls like the cat burglars we wish we could be. And as I'm running with nothing but the sound of sirens to keep me going, I start wondering if all this cardio is worth it. That something we'll have to wait to complete the mission and see how much we got paid. Oh, let's see how much.
Let's see. We did... Yeah. But I did nothing. <laughs> yeah, I got seven. You got, what, four? Five? Well, we did it. And I guess that proves that the casino not always wins. We tip the odds in our favor. I mean, we turn the tables. They say the casino is all about luck, but in here it was quite a bit of skill involved. And now it's time for Uncle Esther's happy ending. Only this time it won't be at a time massage parlor. Worth it. <laughs> After that magnificent job, we went back to the arcades, and I did the only thing I could, apart from taking a shot of course, I went straight down downstairs, and I got the master control terminal. Now that little beast there is gonna make me able to run all my businesses, buy supplies for all of them, in one spot, in one chair, and that will make things a lot easier as I don't have to keep flying everywhere just to resupply the businesses, I just go to the arcade. I go downstairs, log into the master control terminal, and just resupply like that. It'll be very easy to keep an eye on the stock levels, so I'll always be able to sell even when I don't put the timer on my phone and I'm doing maybe some casino preps, or I'm close by doing some crates or vehicle warehouse or anything like that, I'll just be able to do it easily. Everything from one spot. So that's brilliant. So that's all there is for this episode. For next week's episode on Monday, we're gonna fully upgrade the counterfeit cash factory and we're also gonna buy the meth lab and fully upgrade it. We're also gonna link it down to our nightclub and in a future episode to come will be the fully upgradation and automation of the nightclub. Thank you very much for watching guys. You are legends. If you're not subscribed to the channel, it's entirely up to you if you want to subscribe or not. GTA videos are coming every single Monday. There is other series coming in the channel. More series to be put soon. And thank you very much for watching. Stay frosty.